Hi guys, welcome to today's video. So this is the first video that I've brought to you for about three weeks now. Um, and the reason for my absence is that I've had COVID um, and I've not really felt well enough to make videos um, and to do large amounts of artwork. Um, so I've done a few bits, um, you might have seen over my Instagram page. Um, I've basically just done some fun fantasy seven fan art um, because that's one of my, um, my favorite things. Um, but we come back today with Upcrate. So Upcrate has a new box. This is the April box. Um, I'm not sure how I feel about it. It's um, it's different. I don't like change, but I'm sure it's all good. So if we get in, um, let's see what we've got. Now this is the first Upcrate um, that I've received where I've not seen spoilers. So that is, oh God. Okay, that's super exciting for me so I don't know for the first time since I think November uh, when I got this box this is the first time I haven't known what's inside so let's get in and find out what it is um, yeah so it feels like forever ago that I last opened a box but um, here we go so we've got some nice pink stuff here stuff paper a nice pink paper hiding the art supplies message to myself have fun lovely so let's get that out uh, we have bottle post so if you remember from last month i was in the bottle post last month so that was cool oh so got some stickers we have the co-captain so okay is it a poster this time hmm, interesting okay and a edding acrylic okay um it looks like markers Right, so we have some editing acrylic marker paper, acrylic and oil artist pad, okay, and eight sheets, so that's quite good, got lots there. Let's open this then. So it appears instead of having a print, we have a poster. So that is quite, um, so abstract, impressionist, I'm not really sure, but the co-captain is Leon Ferron. Um, <laughs> There's no other information on there really, so we'll have to have a look in the book post. Um, not the way. So let's get into the art supplies because that's what we're interested in. I don't know why I try to open that carefully. Okay, I have these. I have, I have all of these. Okay, fun. Right, so at least I know what to do with them. So these are the Edding paint, acrylic paint markers. I sure don't have this one. Um, that is a chunky, chunky <laughs> pen. It's really heavy. So uh, what else? So we've got a Viking 400, number four. So it doesn't actually give away much on hardness. So we'll have a look at that in a minute. Um, we've got this. Has it got a colour name on it? Opulent Turquoise um, Acrylic Marker. We have a white acrylic marker in a little smaller size and a pink in a small size, neon pink. We have a big chunky black one. Uh, we have pastel green. So as you can see, there's all different sizes. Um, and we have this great big double ender. <laughs> uh, yeah, <laughs> I'm laughing because I'm not very mature. Um, a pastel yellow, so it's a great big, big chunky one there. Um, so, so look at what? What? Okay, uh, what? Why did it? Sorry. Okay, what is going on? <laughs> I don't think that was supposed to happen. What is this? Permanent acrylic. Okay. Oh. Huh? Oh, squeeze. This is just going to be a video of me going, huh? Well, this is good. Because I can't get that off with my weak hands. Good start. Okay. Let's have a look at bottle post. That's not a good start, is it? Right, so here we go. So we have table of contents. Um, a bit about editing. So I've used these markers before, not this one. The acrylic 3D double liner. 
I don't even think I'm gonna that's weird okay so it's actually block are they all like this no they are like so for the most part these are like poscas but this one is different um uh, okay, so it is literally 3D paint, so it's like extra thick. So we're gonna get some texture. So anyway, so we've got the, uh, the acrylic markers there. Um, the Viking pencil, so it's an H. Not my favorite, but we can still use it. So we've got the co-captain. Interesting, I think this will be quite fun. I think I'm gonna get stuck straight in with this. Um, rather than come back later i'm just gonna i'm just gonna go for it today so some art hacks um what i really like about upcrate is how much information we get in the the uh, magazine um it's a lot bigger than the scroller box magazine and and uh, there's a lot more in it um and that's not to say that the scroller box magazine is no good it's lovely um but this just this one i prefer there's a lot more information um so we've got some step-by-step -step tutorials here, um, how to acrylic. So that's interesting because we've got no paintbrush, but I might have to, I've got a paintbrush, it's not a problem. All the bits and bobs. There we go, so up crate. So this is from up crate 29, up crate 30 inspiration area okay lovely so is there another page no there's not so the upgrade battle is come together and it says it's time to come together in reality and use this month upgrade battle for this month upgrade battle sorry four of the a5 size sheets of paper in your box use for use four together let your creativity run wild as you experiment with any's latest addition into their RT arsenal oh my goodness it's Okay, use them together. Let's get into this. Let's open it. I feel like I'm talking absolute nonsense and I do apologise. But um, <laughs> it's been... A... I can't even open that. <laughs> okay, yeah, I feel like I'm out of practice a little bit with this um, talking on camera. There we go. Okay. Oh, yeah, so this is like, yeah, it's got canvas. I've got some edding. I've got a smaller version of this from edding. And um, I'm going to use my... I'm going to use my smaller one to... No, no, I'm not. Here we go. Let's get stuck in. Let's, uh, let's be spontaneous. Let's not think about stuff. So, okay, right. I, uh, um yeah right i'm gonna turn the camera off and i'm gonna swatch it all and it's gonna be like a magic trick because these all need opening they've all got plastic on this i have no idea what how i'm gonna open that <laughs> just can't get the lids off without opening it completely um so i will be back in a minute okay so welcome back i have swatched all of these um and i worked out how to open this i was just being a bit silly you have to um squeeze the <laughs> you just squeeze the top somewhere there you go and it comes off and it's quite cool i'm gonna i'll show you quickly now that we can see i've done it here but it does like blobs so i guess you could just like blob it on i would probably i would like to embellish with this afterwards um i guess you could also like get a paintbrush blob it onto a palette and then paint with it with a paintbrush but i'm gonna try not to do that um, so these are pretty standard paint markers and like I said, I've used these before and I believe I've got all of these colours which was a little bit disappointing to begin with um, because I was like, oh god, more paint markers, great. Um, I've moved away from paint markers a little bit recently but actually now I've, I've had a little look in the book and I've, I've looked at the co-captain's um, bits and I'm actually quite excited about it now and I've got a little idea. Um, I just really like the colours and I think they'll be fun to have a play with. So not disappointed anymore, I'm quite excited. But this is my swatch anyway, so you can probably see how thick this paint is and that's from that double-ended 3D pen. Um, I tested the other colours on top of the black. Um, 
they work quite well some grey there from the white but I don't think the black had dried properly to be honest um, and the pink could be brighter but that's probably just needing a second layer um, so I'm just going to get stuck straight in I don't normally do this with videos and I was thinking I wanted to try and like try a little bit of a different format with you today um, and that is to just get on do it I'm going to try and talk all the way through as well so sorry about that and um and i'm also not quite gonna follow the prompt um it says to do four pieces that's gonna take quite a long time um and i don't want to have to sit here for ages thinking about it what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna do one small piece just to show the um supplies and then i might um at a later date if you check out my instagram which i will link in the description below um i will probably do the four pieces like it wants um but uh, that'll be um not on camera so let's get some of this paper out so as i say i've had edding pens before the paint markers and i actually they they do this i think it is the same stuff in um like small postcards and that came with some of the pens um and it's really really nice i've used it a few times so um yeah it's uh, it's quite nice to work with and i like the texture i don't know if you can see on camera but it's kind of like got this um, cottony look to it. Looks more like material than paper, um, but a lot of acrylic papers like that. So, what I've decided to do, taking a little bit of inspiration from the co-captain, is to do like a real fun. I don't know if you would call it pop arty or what how you would describe it really. But I'm going to do like a skull. Um, I'm going to do lots of scribbles and embellishment i'm not using a reference i am just going for it for once in my life um and i hope you like it um <laughs> but we will see let's do one bigger eye and i'm going really scruffy okay this is nice right so i saw something with a green face yeah and i liked it in here so here we go so we're going to use the green um <laughs> there's just rubbish everywhere so let's let's go for it so i'm not really sure like how many people watching this follow me on instagram but i have been using paint markers for over a year now um and for a really long time they were my mainstay they were my go-to art supply um, I've kind of moved away from that quite a lot now. Um, I'm the sort of person who gets bored quite easy. Um, so I like to try different things at the moment. I've been doing rather a lot of watercolour. Um, but I do, I do love to use a paint marker. Um, now I don't like to paint with acrylics uh, with a paintbrush I've always struggled with them so for me the paint marker is a much better alternative um, I find that I have a lot more control with it a lot of people um, don't like the fact that they say you can't blend with them this is not true you can blend um, it it takes a little bit of practice to refine the process um, it can be a little bit messy blending them um, and there are various ways you could do it you can finger blend you can blend with the pen obviously that makes the pen messy but actually paint markers are quite easy to clean you can generally remove the nib soak the nib in water I don't do that I just scribble until the color comes off um, But as you can see here, they're, you know, they're, they're fast to use as well. Um, and if like me, you get bored easy, having a farm, what I would call a fast art supply is really good. Um, I suspect I have ADHD, which would explain why I get bored and I have to do things quickly. Um, but we will leave that for another time. But yeah, this is, um, I'm having fun, <laughs> I've decided just to have fun, like, sometimes 
I'll take art too seriously um, and a lot of people do and a lot of people forget that actually art should just be fun and you know you don't have to take it seriously if you take art too seriously it becomes laborious and at times soul destroying um, which I did for a really long time I, I purely for 20 years used graphite pencils and I didn't enjoy what I was doing I used to do photorealism um, and basically just celebrity portraits in photorealism and while I still like to do a celebrity portrait um, I, I, I keep away from the photorealism now I, I, I like to keep a level of, of realism um, but I, I kind of mix it with more fun styles I forget who it is who describes my art as pop surrealism no, not pop surrealism. That's a complete. Um, uh, pop re pop realism. That was it. Pop. I think. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Let me know how you, if you're aware of my work, uh, what, what you would describe it as. Um, but getting back to this, like you can see very quickly, I have managed to fill this. Um, it's taken no time at all. It's not perfect, but uh, you know, I can't be bored to do perfect because perfect for me means I'm not having fun if I'm getting hung up on the details. So, I've done that. I'm going to get the big black one out now. Here we go. I'm going to fill this background really fast. Um, I don't want to get my mat dirty. I say I'm going to do it really fast, but I need something. It's this. From somewhere, here we go. See, isn't this fun? We are having fun. <laughs> um, so, what I'm also doing is to ensure I have enough paint to keep going, is pumping the marker onto the paper. Uh, if you're going to do this, I would suggest that you do it carefully and not too often because paint markers. Um, have a tendency to blob some are worse for it than others um, when I did my swatch of these there was a blob incident and I'm looking over at my swatches and they're still not dry um, that's, that's not ideal um, so I don't like how big the jaw is so I'm gonna you know and the coverage you can't beat the coverage of a good paint marker um, So these are these are pretty good. I've not used my Edding ones that I, I had originally for quite a while um, because my Poscas are out on my desk all the time. Um, but they are, you know, it's really good coverage with them. From what I remember, they are one of the more opaque brands. Um, and for me, that's what I, I want from a paint marker. Because I, I use them because they're quick, I don't want to have to keep going over and doing layer after layer after layer. So if I, if I use a paint marker that is not opaque enough to cover it in one to two layers, I'm not interested. That paint marker doesn't, um, it's not fit for purpose as far as I'm concerned. These are, I mean, this is, Okay, I'd have liked to have had a smaller black as well, but um, we don't. So let's keep going with the black. So let's do the eyes. But the good thing is, like, that's quite like it's a it's a great big chisel, but the end is is a decent smaller size as well. So you can you can get in there and and do a bit smaller. When I looked at the co-caps and stuff, I immediately kind of thought of. Um, Day of the Dead, which is coming up. Is it? No. Is it in May? Oh, I don't know. I'm not going to talk about stuff that's not my culture. I don't know. Someone tell me when Day of the Dead is. Okay, so do we want black or white tea? What should we do? Let's do black. Yeah. Let's let's go for the black. What I like most about this box actually is the colour selection. 
colours are really good. So, light green. <laughs> I don't know what's dry and what's not anymore. I'm gonna, I've got to go out later, unfortunately, and it's all going to be. Um, I actually turn on to work covered in paint sometimes, and I literally don't care. No one said anything anyway. So, oh, tell me. <laughs> tell me some things. What do you think of this box? Um, what did you think when you opened it and saw that we had another art supply box with markers in? Uh, because, not art crate, but scroll box has had a lot recently and I know a lot of people are getting a bit fed up with it. Um, so, yeah, but the trouble is I think with art, there's, there's a lot of art markers now, isn't there? And some of them are watercolour and some of them are acrylic paint and some of them are... Um, alcohol markers and so there's a lot of different markers that do a lot of different things but people see them and just go that's another marker um i don't know what to do i was going to try and get through this video without saying this but now's this one been a bit pain but um i have found that the any markers can dry out quite quickly um i think once you open them um you need to use them i could be wrong i could have just had a bad batch and then this pen's just not activated very well but that's my experience of these. But I mean, the, 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 the paint's decent. The paint is decent. Like, I'm not gonna say it's it's not good art spot. I just don't think they've necessarily got the longest shelf life once they've been activated. That's that's fine. I do apologise. I'm talking complete and utter nonsense. Um, I need to talk more in my videos. That's weird. I don't know if I like that. Very odd. That and, and this pink pen doesn't really work. It's not happy. Okay, that's interesting. <laughs> I just, oh god, what I'm doing. Okay, let's get the white out. Hopefully.
Okay, so um, I'm coming to the end now. Um, <laughs> oh my god, this stuff. Um, uh, what I've learned is maybe I should plan, especially when using. Not, I mean, I'm familiar with these art supplies. Very, very familiar with these art supplies. In fact, however, um, what I'm not familiar is. Uh, is improvising <laughs> um but you know what it's um it's been really really fun and uh oh i don't know if i like it i think i like it even though it's it's um, a humongous mess i think i think i like my humongous mess yeah Let's do small black lines. Oh, that talks to so <laughs> yeah. So while I'm doing this, um, let me know in the comments below what you thought about this box. And um and generally just let me know what you think about the video anyway, because normally what I would do, my videos are very structured, I will come in, I will unbox, I will um I'll swatch the supplies on camera which I haven't done this time um, because I'm worried when I do it it's a little bit boring and I want to keep you engaged I want you to enjoy the video and not get bored with what I'm doing and um, yeah so let, let me know what you think um, do you like the fact that I spoke more than I spoke complete and utter nonsense um, I did run out of things to say which is why it's gone into time lapse for a little while um, I am working on that um, uh, an artist friend of mine gave me some advice recently um, and said that it'd be good if I spoke more and people would like that and um, so I need to work on my topics basically um, but I would like to talk to you guys more um, yeah just get, let, let, give me some feedback let me know what you think um, and, and let me know what you thought of this box it's uh, it's certainly an interesting box and do you know what I actually let's get rid of that um, I, I, yeah I really I really like I really like that actually um, and this is this is the stickers from the artist so you can see I tried to sort of not copy but take a little bit of inspiration from them um, I'm not sure how I feel about this big fat thing full of paint um, but yeah uh, but if you'd like to see my other work you can find me on all the social media platforms um, I'm on Instagram Twitter TikTok and Facebook Instagram is probably my most active one, but I am working my TikTok game. Um, recently got my thousand followers on there, so that's pretty cool. Um, so yeah, just check me out. Um, if you want to get upgrades for yourself, I'll leave a link below. Um, so when you subscribe, you'll get a little bit of discount on your first month's box. And other than that, I hope you um, are all okay. Um, I've missed you guys, and I can't wait to see you in the next video. So uh, bye.